your ass up, Terrence. Wake your ass up, Terrence. Don't be pulling that falling asleep mess on me, Terrence. The food portion of my dish is empty, Terrence. I'm about to go scratch the home of your couch. Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Tuesday, October the 25th. And in today's video, I have one play for years and one to put on stock. But before I go into the plays, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rallied up 1.34% yesterday, settling at 31,499, the Dow. The Nasdaq, they closed up 0.86% at 10,952, the Nas. Tesla, Tesla wanted no part of the rally. Tesla made a new 52 week low yesterday. Tesla closed down 1.49% at $211.25. Their 52 week low was $199, I beg your pardon, $198.59 pennies. Tesla below 200. Is this a buying opportunity or more carnage? The company is going to cut price in China for their uh, Model S, I believe. Go ahead and read up the news on Tesla. Speaking of China, most of the EV stocks in China made new 52 week low at news regarding the president. He's securing another term, and the stocks didn't like that. Baba went down, LI, new 52-week low, XPEV, new 52-week low, and NEO, new 52-week low. Is there more carnage to come, or is this a buy point? Only time will tell. tell. Let me cut the blackest kite and get back to the uh, recap. Apple closed up 1.48%. Apple is sitting at $149.45. Apple, there were no triple-digit runners yesterday. Let's jump right into it. Today's play is a SP play, in and out. Grab and go, one and move. Do not overstay, you're welcome. TSHA, TSHA is up 39% at recording of this video in the pre-markets. Sitting at $2.10, the higher day, $2.52 so far in the pre. Okay, if this one retracts below $1.97, this might be a no-go. The company came out with news. Astella will be acquiring 15% of the stock. Okay, let's continue. This one has low volume. Watch for the volume to pick up today. This one is in the biotech sector, headquarters out of Texas, TSHA. Let's kick the tires. They were a market cap of 65 million. They have 24 million in the float. 39% of the float are held by insiders. Okay? 35% of the float are held by institution and shows as 4% of the float. This is TSHA. Okay? They have a total cash in hand of 66 million and a total debt of 63 million. 66 million in cash, 63 million in debt. Their total. Cash per share is 1.61. <laughs> Their current ratio is sitting at 1.79 TSHA. Let's jump to stock number two. I want you to put this one in stock today. CRBP. CRBP is up 22% thus far in the pre-markets at 14 cents. The higher day thus far in the pre, 17 cents. There's no news out, but this one has spike ability. For example, on October 20th, the stock went from 11 cents to 15 cents. This one is in the biotech space headquarters out of Massachusetts, CRBP. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at the Petite, for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them. Now you don't. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam. Make your next trade your best trade. Always take care of your downside and let the upside take care of itself.
Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webo link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just one penny, one penny only. Also, pre-market dollar trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only, the way to go. Pre-market dollar trading is very risky. It's not for risk averse. Uh, thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.